Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 casting tutorial for Terran players. I am your host HNN and for today's tutorial we do have a Protoss player. So I'm going to show you guys my standard build against a Protoss player. Um, first off my opponent is a Diamond Level League player. He had 450 points at the end or at the last time I played him uh, which was some time about you know a week ago. Um, so he's a fairly decent Protoss player. Um, at the time I played him, the highest, uh, the, mo the most points was about 800, and this guy currently had about 450 whenever I last played him, so he's a fairly decent opponent. And this is a ladder match. Um, uh, as you can see, I scouted a little bit early. So anyway, I want to talk about our basic uh, build order for our Protoss today, or our basic strategy. I, I just call it a standard strategy because it protects me against Dark Templars void rays and it also protects me against a Protoss 4 gate um, and then, and I also want to talk a, b a little bit about some misconceptions about Terran versus Protoss strategies uh, notice on the forum some people say you know Terran players can make uh, 20 marines and rush up a Protoss ramp with one ghost 20 marines and one ghost um, that, that really doesn't work um, in high level gameplay you want to use the choke to your advantage you never want to run up your opponent's uh, choke point so if your opponent has the ramp you never want to run it up because you know one force field will be able to destroy your army so you never want to run up your Protoss player's ramp and another thing I want to mention is uh, refinery um, a lot of people do not know when to get your second refinery so if you're playing against a Protoss player you do not need two early refineries you don't need a lot of gas to you know, be the Protoss player. What you really need is minerals because you need the minerals to mass up a bigger army than your opponent. So you don't need a second refinery so early in the game. Um, I'm going to show you guys in the replay when you get your second refinery. Just remember you just don't need it so early. What you really need is you need a bigger army. So I made my first barracks and what I'm doing is I'm trying to kill this probe because I don't want, to, I want, I don't want this probe to see me build a second and third barracks. I want them to think, you know, I might be able to do a, I might be doing like a one one, the famous one 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 build where you make one barracks factory and a store port. Um, I don't like to do that build. Uh, I feel this build is actually safer and it actually protects you against a Protoss four gate. So what we are doing is we made one supply depot and we're gonna make two, actually three barracks, and then we're gonna pump out as much men as possible and we're gonna upgrade every single thing for our marines and marauders. Upgrade everything. So in here, we're going to upgrade the stem, we're going to upgrade the combat shoots, and we're going to upgrade uh, the shells from Marauders. Um, now, I changed this build a little bit uh, more uh, earlier because this is one of my earlier builds, but I changed the build a little bit more. I'm going to show you guys in more of another video, but I want to—I just want to mention that you want to get an early Marauder because a lot of Protoss players like to stick one or two stalkers up here and zap as many marines as possible run back recharge the shoots come back and zap some more marines um, so what you really need is you want one early marauder and then you want to stop out pumping stop pumping out marines to defend against a void ray rush or anything of that nature so anyway I got my third barracks going down and as you notice I do not have a second refinery because we need the minerals. If you look at my mineral count at the top right hand corner of the screen, my, my mineral count is very low because I am constantly pumping out uh, Marines and Marauders. Uh, early game, you want to pump out more Marines than you want Marauders, you know, to defend against your Void Ray Rush. And there's nothing wrong with pumping out Marines from a barracks connected to a tech lab. So go ahead and do it. Um, you're going to need it. Uh, I got my engineering bay going down right now. Let me show you guys something about this game. At the time I am building my engineering bay, you see I'm building my engineering bay right now, is when you want to scan your opponent. That is about the six minute marker of the game. And at this time when you're build, building your engineering, in, engineering bay, you're going to be able to catch what your opponent is really going for. So I'm scanning him and I clicked this robotics base so I knew he was making uh, some classes later on. So uh, if you didn't catch that, it's going to be three barracks with one refinery, three barracks, and an engineering bay. Once you have your engineering bay complete, completed, then you want to scan your opponent, you know, and then then you want to make a refinery after your engineering bay is completed. So um, for my counter on when to make my second refinery, I, I click all my SCVs on the mineral line, and as you can see right here, when when my mouse is with this um, 
on this SEV is when I want to start building my second refinery. I haven't started yet, but I will start it soon. And if, if you've noticed, uh, I'm clicking on my tech labs. You see I have one upgrade in each tech lab. It's because I am upgrading every single thing possible for our Marines and Marauders. And I have my second refinery going down, if you didn't notice. Okay, I also wanted to mention, uh, uh, should have mentioned a little bit earlier when I was talking about my engineering bay. I saw my opponent going for Colossus. You know, a lot of people think you need uh, Vikings to defend against Colossus. Absolutely not. All you need is an engineering bay. And because you have engineering bay, you can make your turret. Your turret will defend against Colossus, and it will defend against Dark Templars. So going for an early turret will, when you get engineering bay is much more viable than going for a uh, starport. Because Colossus are considered tall units and turrets can shoot tall units. So that is why I'm making these turrets to defend against uh, Colossus. And also making this, so these, these turrets so I can see this observer right here. I don't want him looking at me all game. So anyway, if you notice, uh, all my upgrades are finished for my Marines and Marauders. And I am upgrading the auto tracking to extend the range of my turrets. So it is a very viable counter against Colossus. And I'm currently moving out forwarding my army. And if you didn't notice, I did not attack my opponent er so early in the game. And the reason is, uh, you, you really want to win a game, you never want to attack with the choke point advantage to your opponent. You know, you don't want to run up his ramp. You never want to do that. So what I am doing is, basically, you know, I'm just waiting for my opponent to mess up on his own. If he runs up my ramp right here, um, he's going to be in for a nice surprise because most people do not know turrets can counter Colossus. And I do have a, a little bit better choke right here. I mean, it's it's not as good as this ramp, but it's uh, it's, it's going to be good enough. So let us see what my opponent is up to. Uh, he's just making Colossus and a standard Protoss army. And, uh, oh yeah, I wanted to mention, I am upgrading uh, my weapons. Uh, if you have the same army count as your opponent, especially a Protoss player, and you have that one single upgrade, you will be able to defeat your opponent. Even if he has Colossus, you will able, be able to defeat your opponent with more, uh, about at least 25% of your army left over if you can defeat your opponent with, uh, if you have that one upgrade. And a lot of people don't realize that, but that one upgrade means a world of difference. I, I like to upgrade both of them even before I get my store part because uh, it, it, it makes a very big deal and I've beat many, I defeated many Protoss players with just a single upgrade. So it looks like he is moving out and I'm gonna about to show you guys how well turrets can defend against these Colossus. So if you notice, I'm not moving out attacking him, I'm waiting for him to come up my ramp right here because he's gonna have a bad choke and I am fighting around my turrets. Let's see how it goes. So that battle went pretty well. If you didn't notice, I was fighting with, I was fighting over here with my turrets, and I kept pulling his army back because I wanted my turrets to hit his colossi, and his Coloss colossi wouldn't be able to do any uh, damage. So it's pretty much game over for him because he lost his main army, and uh, there's no way he's gonna be able to come back from this. So anyway, let's go back to our basic build order. It's gonna be a supply depot, one barracks, refinery, and then two more barracks. Basically, three barracks, you make three barracks, then you make an engineering bay. Once you have the engineering bay, that is when you know it is the right time to scan your opponent. And because you have your engineering bay, you will be able to, de to defend against Colossus and Dark Templars. So your engineering bay is very important. And after you have your engineering bay, then you build your refinery. So your engineering bay is your marker on when you want to scan your opponent and when you want to make your refinery. And just remember, constantly make SCVs. Whenever you have your mineral lines saturated like this much right here, then you can stop uh, making SCVs uh, and just con and just concentrate on pumping out on more units. So And never forget to make more units. So anyway, I hope this replay helped you guys out. And um, 
you know, this this was a very short replay. And I'm going to show you guys, explain a little bit more about this replay in uh, another video. I mean, I'm explain a little bit more about this strategy in my uh, in in the next video. So anyway, uh, this is H&N signing out, and I hope you guys enjoyed it.